city is running the risk of being undercounted in the 2020 census. In an email to city council members, Census Bureau employees say they aren't getting enough access to people living in apartments. Abby Dodge went to a complex with the most households that have not replied. There are 120 apartment units in this building that haven't responded to the census. Workers for the census say apartment buildings across the metro aren't letting workers in to do their jobs. The clock is ticking for Kansas Cityans to submit their census forms. At the end of the month, the population count stops. That's 16 days away. The Census Bureau says almost 8,000 apartment units are still unaccounted for. It's probably not the greatest thing. It doesn't happen very often. It would be disappointing when you have hundreds of people living in one space that aren't being able to be counted. Workers are hitting roadblocks before they're able to knock on doors. The census says property managers are denying access to some buildings. Fourth District Councilman Eric Bunch says there's a lot at stake. A significant undercount could mean that we're not ac adequately representing our constituents. So we went to an apartment complex that the councilman says isn't letting workers in. I was hoping to speak with someone in management here at Union. The Union Apartments didn't want to speak with us on camera or give us a statement. One resident told us management has changed multiple times over the last few months, and so do the rules. Well, it doesn't surprise me that um, no one's getting the answers they want um, when they ask questions. We didn't get an answer from the conflicts as to why they aren't letting workers in. I would be curious if maybe their concern is with COVID, liability, and that sort of thing, but I really can't quite empathize with that decision very much. There are both federal laws and local ordinances stating you must let census workers into buildings. It's vital, it's, it's, it's the law, you're required to do it. Our population determines a lot for the next 10 years. How much money we get to fix roads and bridges, funding for transportation, where city council district lines are drawn, and how many people we have in Washington to represent us. We could be missing out significantly if we fall under a certain threshold in population. A population of 500,000. Being just under that benchmark means Kansas City didn't get direct access to CARES Act funding. Councilman Bunch says if you're worried census workers aren't being allowed into your building to either contact him or the Census Bureau to make sure you are being counted. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KC TV5 News.